John Adams, the second president of the United States and one of the founding fathers of the nation, played a crucial role in shaping the early years of the United States. His life, political career, and contributions to the development of the young nation are significant and deserve close examination. In this extensive exploration, we will delve into the life of John Adams, his journey into politics, his presidency, and his lasting legacy. John Adams was born on October 30, 1735, in Braintree, present-day Quincy, Massachusetts, within a family of modest means. His father, John Adams Sr., was a farmer and a deacon, while his mother, Susanna Boylston Adams, hailed from a prominent family. Young John received a typical colonial education, attending a local school and receiving instruction from private tutors. He exhibited intellectual promise from an early age, showcasing a passion for reading and learning. In 1751, Adams enrolled at Harvard College at the age of 16, where he pursued a liberal arts education. During his time at Harvard, he immersed himself in classical literature, philosophy, and science, laying the foundation for his future pursuits in law and politics. Adams graduated in 1755, and although he contemplated becoming a minister, he eventually chose law as his profession. Adams began his legal career by clerking for a prominent attorney in Worcester, Massachusetts. After several years of diligent study and practice, he was admitted to the bar in 1758. He established a successful legal practice in Braintree and quickly gained a reputation for his legal acumen and principled approach to law. His involvement in politics started in the 1760s when he became an outspoken opponent of the Stamp Act and other British policies that he viewed as encroachments on colonial rights. Adams emerged as a key figure in local and colonial politics, advocating for colonial self-government and independence from British rule. John Adams was a significant figure in the American Revolution and the early years of American independence. He was a delegate to the First and Second Continental Congresses and was a powerful advocate for independence. In the First Continental Congress, he pushed for a unified response to British oppression, and in the Second Continental Congress, he nominated George Washington as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. Following the Declaration of Independence, Adams was appointed as a diplomat to negotiate foreign alliances and secure support for the fledgling United States. He played a crucial role in securing aid from France, which proved instrumental in the American victory over the British. In 1789, Adams was elected as the first Vice President of the United States under President George Washington. As Vice President, he presided over the Senate and played a significant role in shaping the role and functioning of the Vice Presidency. Adams was known for his impartiality and efforts to maintain the dignity of the office. In 1797, Adams assumed the presidency, succeeding George Washington. His presidency was marked by significant challenges, including strained relations with France, the Quasi-War, and internal political conflicts. Adams successfully navigated these challenges, prioritizing national unity and the preservation of the young republic. John Adams' legacy is immense and multifaceted. His dedication to the principles of liberty, justice, and governance left an indelible mark on the United States. As a founding father, Adams played a crucial role in the formation of the nation and the drafting of key documents that shaped its trajectory. His presidency, while facing challenges, reflected his steadfast commitment to the nation's interests and the rule of law.